the next program uh, were highly anticipated uh, from our last genealogy series to take a look at um, our search for Koseki family registry in Japan with Hiroshi Yaginagi Sawa with US Japan Connect. And he helps families explore their roots in Japan. So uh, let's take it away. I guess many of you may understand Japanese language, but please let me speak in English with some Japanese accent. My name is Hiroshi Yanagisawa, and I was born and live in Nagoyashi, Aichiken, Japan. My late parents came from Nagano. I am working for Seto City Hall, Seto Shiakisho in Aichiken. I went to a university in Nagoya called Nanzan University, and I was an exchange student to Illinois State University in economics too. I'm working for Seto City Hall. Uh, this is my picture. Um, I'm very glad to talk about number one, what I'm doing in Japan for the US Japan Connect. And number two, talk about Koseki system of Japan. Mission of US Japan Connect. This project is for the people who are looking for the information of the relatives in Japan. Through research, translation, and face-to-face -face meetings, we will facilitate the connection between you and your family roots in Japan. Why do we do this? Because of the World War II, Japanese immigrants and their families had to cut off the families in Japan. After the war, many of the second and almost all the third generation Japanese Americans are no longer able to speak or read Japanese. As a result, many Japanese Americans have been unable to search their own family roots in Japan. We have heard that some Japanese Americans want to reconnect the Japanese roots. How do we begin? We will first interview you who are interested in beginning a search for family connection in Japan. After evaluating the results of the interview, we will determine whether there is adequate information to begin the search and identify possible outcomes. We also want to know your needs and requests. What will happen then? For some, for some of you, it may be possible to actually meet family members in Japan. For others, it may only be possible to find birth and death records. What kind of information do we need from you? Names of your family, as much as you can find in Japanese, kanji or Chinese character. Birth dates, maybe death dates. Name of the place in Japan where your family came from. If possible, any Japanese address or domicile. If possible, a copy of Koseki, family register. Any Japanese words may help, like old letters. Resources we're using. Koseki or family register. If you already have one, we do not have to apply for the, the same one. 
Name of the temple which your family belongs. Registration of the land or the house at the Japanese address. Residential map by Zenlin, Japanese company, after the World War II. City, Shi, and prefectural, Ken, history book. Local phone book. Individual yellow page. Japanese Wikipedia to search all Japanese address. Dictionary to consult the old Japanese writings. Then what do we do next? Making your family tree in English and in Japanese with birth dates and possibly death dates. Assuming the approximate location in Japan, where your family came from. We need to locate the domicile for the next step. Uh, we need uh, this information to apply for the koseki later. Koseki is our prior source of your relative's information. Then what is koseki? And what can koseki tell you? The koseki or a family register contains almost all the information of, on the family or family members, including birth, marriages, divorces, adoptions, death, and so on. The first koseki was introduced in 1872, Meiji uh, 5. The revised one is in 1886, Meiji 19. The national government used it for military draft and taxation purposes. After the World War II, the Koseki contains the information of husband, wife, and their children only. Uh, here is an example of Koseki. Uh, this is Yanagisawa Hiroshi's, uh, my Koseki, and the vertical style and newest style. This is issued in 2016. So in this koseki, my name is up there. I mean, that domicile is up there and uh, my information and my wife's information. We don't have any children. Uh, this is another example. This is a horizontal style uh, koseki. It is a little bit older style. This is issue 2003. This is again, a my koseki. Um, the, uh, the first, uh, uh, we read this one uh, from the right to the left. Uh, the uh, first uh, column is the uh, domicile and my name and my information and my wife's information. Uh, here is my parents' uh, old style koseki. Uh, this one is page one. Uh, this is the domicile of my father. And this is my father's name. Um, he is the head of the family. And here is my father's information. Uh, like uh, who is uh, his father and mother and birth date and marriage date and, and so on. This is my mother's information. My mother's father and mother and her birth date. Here is my elder sister's information. So this is the second page of my father's koseki. Uh, this is my elder brother's information. 
uh, this is me. This is my information. This is my younger brother's information. And you notice the X, like my, uh, my brothers, my, me and uh, my younger brothers. My sister has also, you know, uh, closed out. Uh, it means that uh, uh, children are all uh, deregistered from this koseki. So in this case, uh, four children got married and got out of this koseki. Here is my great grandfather's old koseki. Uh, my great grandfather is a family head. So here is uh, uh, my great grandfather's name. So this is a domicile uh, of uh, my, grand, my great grandfather's uh, domicile. It's in Nagano Ken. And um, here is my uh, grandfather's name is here. Um, there are maybe four or five pages, uh, but I didn't put them uh, everything. But my father's name is in the uh, uh, discosec too. We apply for koseki to the municipality which stores your lineal kin's koseki. Uh, when I mean by lineal is that the relationship with you and of your parents, children, grandparents, grandchildren, and so on. Not brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, nor cousins. You can apply for uh, koseki only of your parents, children, grandparents, and so on in the lineal relationship. In order to apply for koseki, we need the person's name in kanji, the person's domicile possibly in kanji, and then and the chart to show your uh, your applicant, so uh, your relationship with them, preferably in a family tree style. Then the person's birth date. We also need your ininjo or proxy form in the municipality's own form. Uh, this is a case when you need to ask somebody else like me to apply for the koseki. We need your ininjo or a proxy form. The each municipality has their own form. Then I can apply for the koseki on behalf of you, who is a lineal kin to the person in the koseki. Once again, we need your ininjo, an authorization or permission letter or a form of proxy to represent you. In order to tell the municipality that you are eligible to apply for the koseki, you will need to show your birth certificate, your parents' birth certificate, and so on, to explain that you are all connected to the person, to the person linearly. Koseki and the municipalities. Uh, koseki is stored by Japanese municipalities, uh, which we call them shiku cho son in Japanese. As of April 17, uh, 2021, uh, it's lewa uh, three. Uh, there are 792 cities, shi, Seven, 743 towns, Cho, and 183 villages, Son, in total uh, 1,718. 
Besides them, there are 23 special wars ku of Tokyo. So here is the uh, uh, relationship of the uh, government in Japan. Uh, they, we, we have uh, uh, we, the uh, national government, Japan. And uh, in Japan, that there are uh, 47 todofuken, prefecture government. Uh, Hokkaido, Hokkaido, Tokyo, to, Osaka, Fu, Kyoto, Fu, and others are Ken. Um, under the Todofuken, we have Shiku Chosun, as I mentioned, municipal government. Uh, in total, 1,700. 18 Shikuchosons. So here is an exception. Uh, Tokyo to has their own system too. Uh, Tokyo to is one of prefectures, but they have uh, Shikuchoson uh, in total. 39 municipal government. Besides that, they have uh, Tokubetsuku, special wars. Uh, uh, these 23 uh, war, uh, special wars are also municipal government. Uh, exception two. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, besides, uh, besides uh, Tokyo, to, uh, there are 46, 46 Dofuken, prefecture government. Uh, under Dofuken, there are uh, cities, 700. 82 cities, but uh, among, among them, uh, there are 20 designated cities. Uh, they are allowed to have their own wars. So in 20 cities, they can set wars. This is also called coup, but they are a subdivision of the cities and different from Ku of Tokyo. So these ku are not municipal government. It's just for your information. So those uh, those 20 designated cities uh, out of 792 uh, following. So Nagoya is also uh, uh, designated city too. The number of Japanese municipalities changes uh, due to mergers and names uh, may also change because of renaming and zoning. In 1888, uh, there were 71,314 uh, it, it became uh, 15,859 in 1889. In 1956, there were 9,868 municipalities. In 1961, in 1999, there were 3,232 
in 2010, there were 1,927 municipalities. It became 1,718 municipalities in 2014. This means that your ancestral address might have been changed even in the same location. In my case, a、uh, description of the address was changed on October 25th, 2004.、Uh, it used to be Nagoya Shi Moriyama Ku Oaza Omori Aza Gozenbura 2381 Banchi. It became Nagoya Shi Moriyama Ku Gozenbura Gozenbura 1112 Banchi. The same location. Accordingly, description of the domicile in the Koseki was changed at the same time. National government changes the law. The law of Koseki has been changed a few times.、Uh, once in 2004, the holding Preservation period became 80 years, which was 50 years before 2004. Then in 2010, it became 150 years.、Uh, by the way, the first Koseki、uh, was introduced 1872, revised one、uh, was in 1886. Then, after the World War II in 1948, the Koseki system、uh, was changed. About the holding period, period、uh, years. <clears throat> so, this means that before 2004, the Koseki, which were older than 1954 could be discarded. And after 2004 Koseki,、uh, which were older than、uh, 1924, could be discarded. Before 2010, Koseki, which were older than 1930, could be discarded. But after 2010, the Koseki, which were older than 1860, could be discarded. The oldest Koseki was issued in 1886, so almost all, all Koseki can be saved now. So, this is the、um, Fuji san's case.、Um, this is a certificate of discard of、uh, Koseki.、Uh, this is what happened to Paul Fuji's、uh, grandfather's Koseki. The, the registration date was 1916. and If the city government applied the law, I assume that the city discarded his Koseki after 1966.、Uh, it is the、um, uh, in 50 years from 1916. But the certificate does not say when they discard, discarded it. Uh, this was our, our very big disappointment. This city must have been following the law very strictly. However, I have a feeling that the Japanese municipalities are afraid to throw away official documents、uh, easily.
when we ask the Japanese municipalities for koseki of your parents, grandparents, and so on, they, they will ask you whose koseki you need and what purpose you have. Uh, you need to tell them the name of the person in kanji or Chinese character and the birth date. Uh, you will also need her or his old address in Japan called honseki or a domicile. Then the municipality will know if the koseki of the person still exists. In order to make sure if you are eligible to apply for the koseki, they will need to uh, they will need to identify the relationship of you and the person of Koseki. If I am asked to apply for the Koseki on behalf of you, they will also ask me who I am and how I am related to you. So I need a, a proxy document, as I mentioned, signed by you, then I can tell them I am trying to acquire Koseki on your behalf. So here is a property land uh, registration. Uh, uh, anybody can acquire this certificate. Uh, what can we know out of this certificate? Um, so we can know who is the um, uh, owner of this land or house. So question, uh, what do you think it is? And this is a funeral record um, uh, made in the United States. This contains the person person's um, Buddhist name and his living name, the age when he died. Uh, it says 60 years old, but meaning 59. We count the year when the person was born. Um, so there is not the street number, but uh, still, uh, there is a, a address of Koseki. Um, here is the uh, domicile uh, without the uh, street number. And so this is the uh, date and time uh, when he died. He died at home at 10.30 p.m. on June 24th in 1928. And so this is uh, the place of the funeral. The funeral took place on June 28th in 1928 at the Bukkyokai. And the funeral uh, director is Martin Company Limited, here, and the host of the of this funeral, rather hostess, is the his wife, widow, and the first son. So here is a column. Um, this is the uh, priest's name. Uh, I can I can read the family name, but, but I cannot read his uh, first name uh, because his handwriting is difficult. <laughs> so this is uh, 
all I can uh, tell you uh, now. Uh, thank you for your attention. Hi, now we're going to have some q and I know you have a lot of questions out there and I've been um, compiling a few. And if we can get Hiroshi Yanagisawa on the line and you can appear through your iPad across the Pacific, <laughs> we'd love to see you if we can get you on camera. Okay, I think we can have your, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you turn is on? Is it howling? Is it howling? No. How? Howling? No. 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 Good. Nice and clear. There you go. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi, Hiroshi. Hi. <laughs> Good. Okay, so I will try to speak slowly. And yes. I'm going to send you the questions uh, that I've been copying so that you can read them. There might be a delay. Let me see if I can send them to you by email. Let's see. I, I can watch chat too. Rosalind. Okay, yes. Okay, yeah, so let so me just go and uh, read them. In, in the groupings of your municipalities and ancestral um, discussions, yes. Tom says, um, how do you convert from the past location name to the mm -hmm. current names after the region was incorporated in, in the larger city? Yes, that, that's a good question. Um, so I go to the uh, uh, well uh, first that uh, I uh, look up the you know, Wikipedia that uh, older name and then uh, which has the uh, you know information about uh, how they are they were you know merged into uh, uh, certain municipalities uh, then uh, if I know that uh, the old location old address uh, became certain city I'm going to the you know city's website uh, if they have the you know, same uh, you know town's name or the you know uh, small district's name, they then I, I will assume that uh, it must be this location. But in order to uh, point out uh, the uh, exactly the same location, I have to go uh, go on to the uh, uh, legal uh, office to check out. Is, is it clear? Yeah. Um, and also someone asked, what about Gun? Gun, uh, Gun is a, a kind of a, um, it, it is not municipality. It is a, a kind of a gathering of the cities or towns or uh, villages. Uh, because of their budgets, those uh, um, towns and uh, villages are kind of a small in budget. So they get together to do some, uh, you know, projects like uh, uh, collecting the garbage, or you know, the uh, water um, uh, water project, the kind. So they, uh, it is a uh, you know area that uh, you know those uh, villages or towns uh, get together to work out some projects. Is it clear? Okay. And that's not necessary for Koseki. Yeah. No. Is that necessary no. for Koseki? No. Okay. No. And then, the, okay. Now, what about women? I know that it's patrilineal, right? Um, mm -hmm. In the in the male's name. Do women mm -hmm. have Koseki in their own name? Yes, yes. Uh, as long as that, uh, uh, if she became a, a family head uh, of the uh, uh, in a family, uh, the, 
Uh, she has you know, koseki. Okay. And yeah, the, I'll, 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 yes. Go ahead. Uh, another case is that, uh, like, uh, uh, if, you know, she, 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 she has a you know, father and mother, right? And when she got married, she's get out of the, uh, uh, you know, koseki to create the new koseki with her husband. But if the husband passed, up, passed away, she is, you know, the leader of the family. So it means that she's the, uh, uh, she owns the, you know, koseki. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah. Now, were koseki updated once the Japanese males went to Hawaii to work, mm -hmm. and then they mm -hmm. never returned to Japan? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't think it is updated. As long as uh, any information is, we call it move. It means that uh, you know renewed. Uh, the koseki is uh, um, how do you say? Um, uh, any other you know, in information may add, but uh, mm. uh, koseki itself uh, exists, even though it is not updated. Okay. Now um, Stan says. Yes, were there a lot of records lost because of the fire bombings during the war? Mm -hmm. uh, I explained in nine, uh, 2019 uh, in a workshop, and then I said that uh, those records went to Tokyo, but uh, I was wrong. Uh, in each uh, municipality, I mean, no, not the municipalities, but in each prefecture has a legal office, and then uh, they duplicate the uh, uh, the all kosekis of you know municipalities in that area, but uh, of course, if um, the bombing happened in certain area and everything is you know uh, destroyed, uh, it is very difficult to uh, create recreate the uh, koseki. But uh, it's been done uh, pretty good, uh, like a case in Hiroshima. Um, it's a very interesting case that uh, the municipalities, uh, uh, you know, evacuate their uh, records to the you know, kind of mount mountainside, so they get away from the you know, bombing. Uh, it's a one example. In Tokyo, three municipalities uh, totally, uh, you know, lost their records, but uh, try to, um, you know, collect any informations uh, from the you know other cities and then other uh, offices to create the. Um, the Kosekis again. Very good. Now yeah. I have a question on some uh, uh, adoption. Yes. Yes. Um, person writes, Kimo, Kimiko, I'm adopted and know where my birth father grew up, Urasoi, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and my birth mother's um, was from Yamaguchi Ken. Do yes, you yes. ever work with adoptees and have success finding their family members? It is a is it common? Um, not common, but uh, um, uh, three people asked me to do it, but uh, uh, it was not uh, successful. Um, the uh, uh, basically speaking, that uh, uh, if you have the um, uh, name of the person in kanji, uh, also in birth date, and also uh, address domicile. Um, we can, you know, check at the uh, municipality, uh, but uh, you know those cases uh, they don't have that, you know, those information, so it's kind of uh, difficult. And one case uh, is still um, on the way, and then it, uh, she has the, uh, you know, those record uh, which is issued by the Japanese municipality. But uh, uh, I don't know if, if she wants to uh, go ahead to, you know, look for furthermore. It's on the way. Mm. So our adoptions uh, are, it's closed adoptions, right? Is it, is it private, very private information that's not available? Uh, would you say that again, please? Are the, do the adoptions appear on the records? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. they do on Koseki. Yes, yes, okay. yes. So uh, there, there is a many, possibility. Yes, there are many cases. Um, uh, one case is that, uh, uh, for example, uh, the you know the child knows the uh, name of the uh, father and mother, but uh, uh, with some reason that uh, uh, the child child couldn't get into the you know koseki of 
are her father's. Uh, so, uh, you know, as a style that uh, she's a, a daughter of the mother, but uh, also at the same time, she, uh, she, uh, she is adopted by, uh, you know, uh, biological mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it is, uh, they, they do something like that to, for you know, some reason. And a, a person says, I'm a Sansai, I have parents, my parents' birth certificates, but I mm -hmm. do not have my mother's parents' birth certificates. Mm -hmm. So her grandparents. Is there another form of identification that is accepted? I think this is in terms of, you know, the, getting the proxy. So mm -hmm. um, is it, can you find that you have to get the death certificates of the grandparents, you know, to trace the lineage? uh well to the it all Issei. depends on yeah it all depends on um uh what he or she uh needs to do mm. um if, if she if he needs the uh to find the uh, roots of the, you know uh his uh, paternal side that's just fine i mean uh he doesn't need you know matern maternal side of the uh uh birth certificate so, because it's because it's the last name, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, if you, yeah. If you carry the same last name, yes, that's yes. how you have to um, determine the Together. lineage. Yeah. Also, in the birth certificate, um, the uh, um, it contains the uh, uh, birth date of the you know father or mother, mm. or I mean the uh, you know child's birth mm -hmm. uh, birth date. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a lot of questions here. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, of course, there's a lot of questions. How then do people um, obtain your services? There's a lot of people uh, that want to, you know, yes. um, engage your services. How do they go about contacting you or do they fill out a form? Because there's a lot, quite a lot of information that needs to exchange before you can you know, yes. do something for yes. them. Um, yeah, uh, please talk to, you know, Rosaline to uh, contact <laughs> me. <laughs> because uh, uh, I'm, uh, you know, working for the city government still. So uh, sort of, in you know, a full time. So I cannot oh, I... do, yeah, I cannot do this project every day. So maybe weekends. <laughs> yeah, I think originally as you were planning to retire, you know, yes, uh, soon yeah. we we thought this was a wonderful opportunity for you to get into another type of career. Now they're calling you back probably because you're so valuable no, uh, to, I don't know. <laughs> to Seto City, and so the and the um, demand is quite increasing too. And yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. quite. I know it's quite quite consuming. Well, we'll have to work out something, but um, or have a have you come to the states again for another follow up. Um, mm -hmm. There is, let's see, um, is Koseki the reason women are not allowed to keep their family name, but instead are required to take their husband's name when they marry? Uh, you mean all the, I mean, before the World War II, after the World War II, the situation is different. Um, uh, before the World War II, the, uh, uh, it's in a family uh, unit. So um, the, uh, you know, ladies uh, use, uh, you know, the uh, male's name, basically. But uh, of course, there is a, uh, some kind of, you know, adop adoption system of the you know, husband. The, uh, the, uh, in order to keep the you know, family, that the, they need a you know, male in the family. So the daughter is adopted in you know, husband. Uh, with her family name. So it's uh, one case. And after the World War II, uh, you can decide uh, whichever family name you use, your wife's or you, you know, uh, husband's. Uh, in our case, that uh, we play Janken and I won the... <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, we use uh, my family name. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, as a... Uh, 
info, uh, as your information that the 97, 90, 70% is in a male's family name mm. for Koseki. And um, I'm jumping around here, but although Koseki disappear after a given length of time, mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. it possible to go back several generations from say my grandfather who came to Hawaii in the early 1900s? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it all depends on the you know, municipalities. Um, if they you know, follow the uh, laws at the moment, like uh, you know, the uh, government changes the law, and if the municipalities follow the uh, uh, law strictly at the time, they may discard. They they may dis, uh, destroy the you know those uh, records. Mm. But I have a feeling that uh, the uh, city governments are kind of reluctant to destroy you know those informations because uh, we know the you know, value of that you know those koseki. Mm. But um, Technically speaking, uh, you, you cannot, uh, you know, find the uh, koseki once they, uh, they, they were destroyed. Mm, it's yeah. gone forever. So someone says, I have my father's side koseki. Now yes. what do I do? <laughs> koseki. So, yeah, so he has his father's side koseki. So what, you know, what, That's great. what does he do? So um, I think, yes. what, what can he do with it? Yeah, uh, it depends on, you know, what he wants to know out of the you know, koseki. Uh, first of all, that uh, uh, can he read uh, Japanese? And if, <laughs> if not, uh, he needs to hire you know, some people who can translate it into English. Yeah. So then what, what he wants to know. <laughs> okay, I guess the other then following we... thing is, you know, how, you know, how can you trace your family lineage? And is it you know, accurate? Is it correct? Why? Do people put things onto the koseki? Uh, well, that's, I mean, as, a, as an official, I, I cannot say that, uh, you know, cities or, you know, other person, you know, add something. Uh, we believe that it is, the, you know, uh, a true, I mean, a truth. <laughs> Everything uh, in the koseki is true. But uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, as a human error that they, uh, there's, something happens like uh, uh, as you as you might have seen that the, you know uh, the old style koseki that, that they are all in handwriting right so when they copy you know the uh, information to another uh, they may uh, misspell something uh, in my father's case uh, he didn't um, know the you know real birth date until the uh, before he was retired um, uh, because you know there are two birth dates in the you know, one koseki, so. It, it Why happened. are there two birth dates in one koseki? So in his you know, information column, there's a birth date, and then uh, in his uh, you know, uh, uh, I mean uh, another column uh, next to uh, you know father's name, there's a birth date. Um, uh, uh, column and then you know those two dates are different so somebody might have you know uh miswritten the uh, date mm. the maybe the first information might be uh, not the birth date but uh, uh, uh registered uh date it, it may happens but uh, they think that it's a birth date and someone said, this is more personal, what is the cost of your services um, and how long would it take for them to complete the research uh, of getting the koseki? Yes, uh, it all depends uh, on your need that, uh, and also it all depends on uh, what you have as information. If you already have you know, all those uh, for example, uh, in the case of, uh, you know, the person who has a, uh, you know, father's uh, koseki, it is much quicker to, uh, uh, you know, find the information or to go uh, a father, um, uh, inf to get the, you know, father information because uh, uh, the koseki already has, you know, domicile and then father's name and then maybe wife's name uh, and so on. So, it is much quicker, and then a quicker means that you know less expensive. 
Um, so uh, in the cases I uh, dealing with is like um, uh, a kind of a, you know a long period of time, like a two three years, and uh, cost like uh, maybe like one thousand or maybe more. Yeah. And I so, read yes. it in the chat that family service, if you do have a Koseki, the family service in Salt Lake City is a possible source for translational Koseki. Mm -hmm. uh, that, mm -hmm. It's probably really easy to get someone to translate unless it's in the old style Japanese mm -hmm. writing. Mm -hmm. But if you do have it, yes, um, get that translated first. A um, lot of questions here. Um, let's see if I can group it. Uh, let's, let's, there's a long, I've been unable to determine how my DNA matches relate to me because no one recognizes my um, ancestors' surnames. And um, it appears that relatives beyond my Issei grandparents didn't have surnames and their siblings must not have adopted the same surname when this was mandated around 1817. Does this make sense? <laughs> Does this make sense? Oh so they, I guess uh, they have an unusual name. Once again, that uh, uh, I don't know much about the DNA thing, but uh, mm. about the names that uh, uh, before the World War II, uh, in order to you know keep the you know family itself, they need uh, you know somebody uh, male. Uh, mm not only in relatives, but you know, outside of the family. So they may not be you know, connected you know, biologically. Mm. So that's yeah. true, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so how much does it cost to register my name, I guess, with in, in a Koseki? Can you do that? Uh, no. <laughs> no, yeah, no. maybe, can you, uh, yeah. So if you're a Japanese American, and yeah. you are a U.S. citizen. Uh -huh. You can't. You cannot enter your name into a Japanese family. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, f find any you know a Japanese spouse and you know get married uh, legally. I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, artificial. I mean, <laughs> uh, you have to. Yeah, you have to yeah. be married to a Japanese. National. Or adopted by the yeah. Or adopted, adopted into the, the Japanese yeah. family. Yeah in order yeah. to register your name into the Koseki. Into the Koseki, yeah. Um, okay. This is a long, okay. I was able to receive a Koseki of one of my ancestors. I understand yeah. I am able to request family members not of my direct lineage, such as my mm -hmm. aunts and uncles. Is there mm -hmm. another way to find those possible relatives? To find... Well, uh, you know, the old uh, record uh, happens to have the, you know, uh, all names besides your grandparents or great grandparents. As I saw my great grandparents, Koseki, that it has all, you know, uncles and aunts and, you know, uh, grandchildren. But after the World War II, they uh, put into the, you know, uh, uh, family, uh, not family, but, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the uh, husband and uh, wife set. So they divided into a small pieces. So <clears throat> they, uh, he or she may uh, be able to find the, you know, uh, uncles and aunts name uh, happen to be in the, you know, those koseki. Or to find, you know, the uh, cousin or, um, this is, this is, um, this is recorded, right? Yes. So it is difficult to say, but uh, uh, if you hire, you know, Japanese uh, lawyer to uh, uh, get the uh, koseki, uh, as for his purpose, uh, his means that, you know, lawyer's purpose, uh, he can acquire that uh, koseki. Yeah. Um, let's see. Can you further explain why the Koseki documents could be discarded? Oh, would you say that again, please? Can discarded. you explain? We talked about this, I think, the last discard. session last year. Yeah, yeah. the discard, discarding yeah. of old Koseki. Can you explain yeah. why this is happening or will, may have happened? 
Uh, it's a you know legal thing. The you know the um, uh, national government you know uh, takes the um, uh, you know action for the, you know uh, the uh, they decide you know how, how long is the, you know uh, good for keeping the koseki. Um, so th that's what I can only say. But uh, uh, what happens uh, now is that like uh, even though you are 130 years old that uh, your name is still in the koseki. Like uh, uh, I think, uh, you know, Nisei, um, the first generation uh, sent the uh, uh, name uh, of the uh, children to uh, uh, Japanese government and then uh, names uh, registered in Japan. So, you know, uh, after the war, they don't do anything uh, with the, you know, koseki, of course. Uh, uh, people in the States don't care about, you know, Japanese koseki very much at the time. So the, you know, koseki is going on. Uh, even, you know, uh, she or he is 130 years old. But recently that um, uh, biologically speaking that uh, 130 or 150 years old is kind of uh, impossible to live. So uh, it, it's a you know, different uh, um, story, but uh, uh, they may discard the koseki uh, with the, you know, authorities power. I mean, municipalities power. Assume that they are no, they, they uh, no longer live. That, is, is it? Right. It's so it's not kept for any other reason than to, you know, identify. Um, well, in a way, Japanese family um, registration, but if your family has been generations gone from mm -hmm. Japan, the Japanese government really has no need for that kind of record, right? I mean, so. Yeah, um, uh, they don't know that the, if, you know, those people are, uh, you know, uh, get out of the, you know, uh, country. They don't even but, know. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They just, you know, follow the uh, rule of the uh, uh, legal, uh, you know, decision that uh, mm -hmm. a storage year or the, you know, uh, bio mm -hmm. biological uh, age. Mm. Yeah. So this could Perfect. be true for Japanese um, uh, descendants. That, I mean, that mm -hmm. I guess expats too, or just have no longer any residence in um, Japan, or there's nobody connected. There's no lineage. There's no mm -hmm. existing mm -hmm descendant, mm -hmm. those records could be destroyed as well. Uh, Regardless we if they, we don't, oh yeah, you don't know, yeah. Regardless yeah. if they immigrated or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we don't know until, you know, we, uh, you know, try to search. get the uh, okay. search, yeah. Okay. Someone put in the chat that uh, Japanese Cultural Center of Hawaii also offers Koseki translation services. So mm, um, good. that's good. Um, uh, about Yes, about the translation, you have to be very careful that, uh, you know, all those, you know, old koseki uses, you know, the uh, very old Japanese. So the way they, you know, write is uh, uh, very different from the, you know, modern Japanese. So besides that, you know, some officials have, a, you know, bad, I mean, uh, handwriting like me. So uh, <laughs> some, some, you know, documents are very difficult to translate too. Mm. Long question. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, we're getting beyond our time, but maybe we'll take a couple more. Our grandfather mm -hmm. was adopted by his fa wife's family to carry on her family name. Mm -hmm. But then what I was told, he changed his name back to his real name after he came to the United States, started a family. Mm -hmm. There are court documents reflecting this change of the last name. So if I want to obtain the Koseki, to trace his family lineage, not his wife's, do I submit his real name or his adopted name or both? Uh, we should try both. Mm. We, we never know, you know, which uh, appears, I mean, yeah. Okay, so one quick question, last question. Do consulates accept requests do the consulates re accept requests to update Koseki in Japan? Uh, 
I, I have no idea, but uh, uh, um, what I know is that uh, you know the Japanese uh, con consulate is kind of reluctant to you know deal with you know those uh, municipalities work now because uh, uh, some you know uh, Japanese American knew that you know their grandparents passed away but that their you know records are still in Koseki and they try to uh, contact the consulate to uh, submit their you know death records but uh, they didn't want it oh yeah they didn't want to you know pass on that you know job to I mean work to that the municipality mm. so I, I'm not sure I, I never tried uh, mm. I, I want to hear, you know, what's happening if they uh, ask the uh, consulate to do. Mm -hmm. What does the government, I guess this is the municipality charge for the Koseki uh, request. Mm -hmm. How, what's mm -hmm. the general um, fee? Uh, 70, uh, 750 yen, which is about $7 uh, per uh, Koseki. Mm -hmm. So if you find out the uh, uh, 20, it is like, uh, I don't know, $30, $40, mm -hmm. something like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. uh, the, key, the questions keep coming for me. <laughs> okay, one final question. I have a US born aunt who went to Japan. Would I be able to find out more about her since she is not a direct line? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it all depends on the information uh, she or he has. So, I don't know uh, what kind of information she has or he has. Yes, a lot of these are very specific too. You have to gather the information as much as yeah. possible, right? Yeah. And, and their, how you write their name in Japanese and to, to get their closest mm -hmm. relative in Japan. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And then go to the municipality of where they're from to yes, do the yes. search, right? That's why yeah. it's pretty time intensive. But thank yeah. you so much. Um, are there any closing remarks that you have? I'm sure uh, people are going to try to get a hold of you, but uh, we'll see what we can do to uh, narrow the questions and help um, help people get started and to get their search on their Koseki and gather that information to make yeah. that happen. So thank you for you know everything. <laughs> so thank you for your cooperation, uh, Roz. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So this concludes our program and we thank you for getting up so early in the morning and, mm -hmm. um, and joining us and answering the questions and uh, we'll be happy to uh, entertain you when you and uh, Ikumi come out to the States, hopefully and on one of your many occasions to do <laughs> research and to visit. So thank you very much and thank you everyone for attending. This uh, concludes our program for today and stay in touch and uh, if you have more questions questions to email email us and we'll be happy to try to forward them to uh, hiroshi -san. so thank you very much and thank, thank you. you for our donors for this uh, programs and we are forever grateful to you